Thanks for dropping in. These are Printy Pipes, a 3D printed construction toy. Or more accurately, these are the version of Printy Pipes that I released last year. While I like this design a lot, it has some major flaws that hold the project back. So in this video, I'm going to call out those flaws and fix them with Printy Pipes 2.0. Let's take on the connectors first. By their nature, this is a terrible shape to 3D print. No matter how you position it on the printer, ports stick out in all directions and create some nasty overhangs. In the older design, I solved this by dicing the connectors up so that each port was its own easy to print subcomponent. So what's the problem? Well, structurally speaking, I could not have picked a worse place to make those cuts. I let aesthetics override function, as I focused on hiding the seams. But if we place the seams straight through the connector, like this, the areas of greatest stress are now solid plastic. And as a bonus, this means that every single connector, no matter how many ports it has, can be printed in only two main parts, the section above the seam and the section below. Each half has no overhangs at all so they're far easier to print. The next issue is connector assembly. The old connectors required glue. These new ones don't. Consider this five-way connector, which is still in pieces. As soon as you add a couple pipes, the two halves are held together by friction alone. If you want, you can stop there, but I preferred having permanently assembled connectors. So I added holes for bow tie pegs that align the connectors and pull them together. Ideally, these will be a friction fit and require just a little percussive persuasion to slide into place. These should not be so tight that you damage the connector. If that happens to you, there is a looser peg option that should work for your printer. Next, let's check out the pipes. Version one of Printy Pipes included a clamp mechanism which provides a satisfying click when locking parts together. This works really well as long as the pipes are pushed directly onto the connector. But if you force the pipe on at an angle, you'll get the less satisfying sound of a broken pipe. This problem was the most difficult to solve. The pipes have to be able to flex, but they also need to hold on firmly to the connectors. After testing many alternate clamp shapes, I found that splitting the pipe down its entire length resulted in the most durability and flexibility. Then I added some internal ribs that limit that flexibility just enough to get the click I wanted. These ribs could be tweaked in the future to provide a different balance of flexibility and strength, but I went with what I deemed to be a good middle ground. If you believe that a more flexible, durable pipe or a more rigid, solid pipe would be a good option, let me know and I might explore those in a remix. While these pipes aren't totally indestructible, they are 3D printed plastic after all, check out how far I can misalign a connection without damaging either part. If printed in PETG or a similar durable filament, these pipes should not snap under a reasonable amount of abuse. Next up, locking mechanisms. In addition to clamping pipes, the original printy pipes made use of several different mechanisms to more firmly lock pieces together. This included TPU rivets, lock rings, and internal locking detents. While I think the updated pipes make these mostly superfluous, you can still use the original TP rivets and lock rings to secure your pipe connections. After some consideration, I decided to drop the internal locking detents from this updated design. As much as I like those in theory, they just didn't work well enough to justify the complicated geometry necessary to support them. To make up for that, I've made a new option, a sliding lock ring. This slides onto a pipe and firmly squeezes the pipe around a connector port. This is great if you want to use printy pipes for a practical build that needs to hold a more rigid shape. Now that we've tackled the updates, what parts are available? This new version of printy pipes launches with I connectors, L connectors, 
T connectors, X connectors, corner connectors, four-way connectors, five-way connectors, and six-way connectors. It also includes flat caps, round caps, and hinges in one-way, I, L, T, and X formats. And these new flex hinges, which can rotate various amounts in multiple different axes. This covers all the basic parts and then some. I plan to convert even more specialty parts, like curved pipes, in a future update. In the meantime, many legacy parts are still compatible with these updated printy pipes. This includes wheels and snap-on slats, so there's no need to reprint those if you already have some. For the last three weeks, I've been printing pipes and connectors 24-7, and I've built up quite a collection. In just under a month, I'm going to top off a bin with these parts and haul them to Murph, the Midwest Rep Rep Festival in Goshen, Indiana. If you recognize my hands there, drop in, say hi, and build your own printy pipe creation. I'm also bringing my many 3D printed puzzles with candy for correct solutions. Yes, that means people who watch this channel will have an edge when it comes to winning tasty sweets. I hope to see you there. But until the next video, happy printing and thanks for stopping by. This isn't even my entire collection. This is a subset of just the connectors. This is going to be total chaos at Murph.